Seriously, I can't even walk on my hands. The kid's walking down the stairs, going around corners. How does he do it? Hajime! October 14th, exactly one year ago. 365 days. Since the first day I started making vlogs. So I'm all decked out in the owl stuff. The original hoot shirt! Woo! This guy. It's time to party. Hoot! Hoot hoot! So, there will be more of that coming later in the vlog. Monday, I did an acceleration day. Um, I pulled the sled again, but this time I decided to come from blocks. Why? Just to change it up a little bit. Who's the idiot who put block sleds in the training? I haven't done sled or blocks in 10 years. This will not be pretty. <laughs> but variety is the spice of life, I guess. I mean, my training age in blocks is like eight months. Just did it in high school because I ran the hurdles in high school and I had to come out of the blocks. I think I look better now coming out of the blocks than I did then, but it feels way worse. <laughs> Thank God I don't have to come out of the blocks when I pole vault, but I don't know, it doesn't look too bad, I suppose. It can only get better, right? Also, this week marks the first day of vaulting for the season. What do you have to say to all the little kids around the world? Little kids around the world? Yeah. Don't do crap. <laughs> that's, that's good advice. Two big questions I had in my head were, one, do I remember how to do this? I was like, oh no, I hope I didn't forget how to pull vault. That happens every year. <laughs> it feels funky. Two, will my shoulder stay attached? It uh, was totally attached and didn't fall off and surprisingly didn't hurt at all. I think all that morning stuff I've been doing, prehab stuff, has been working because I had no pain and I didn't have any pain the rest of the week. So what did I learn? Keep doing prehab stuff. If it's working, don't. Stop doing it. I went from two lefts. Uh, we started with some, some straight pole drills and started feeling pretty good. Get some bent stuff in. I only brought enough poles to go from two and three lefts, and my three left pole got way too small. The good thing was is that my two left approach, I had the same grip as my three left approach last year. What you guys are thinking. Who cares? That doesn't, that's not that impressive. But for me, it is because that's my standard and my grip from three last year wasn't very high, but now doing it from two, that's progress. I'm pumped. Secondly, you guys are probably thinking, That's not two lefts. You have a skip in there. A yippity dippity skippity yippity. All my approaches have a little skip in there. That's just how I've started. And I'm trying to debate if I want to change it or not, or if it's consistent enough, why change it? But for me, it's improvement. And progress is always good. I saw progress. So the first day back, my goal is just to see if everything still worked and if anything hurt. And my cr progress, I was hoping to be here, and actually I was right up here. I was way ahead of where I thought I was going to be. After uh, the day, it kind of reinforced my goals for my technique this year, and I have five of them. One. Hit the takeoff hard with my chest. I used to do this really well, and then I stopped because when my shoulders started hurting, I kind of pushed into it a little bit more to take some pressure off my right arm. So we'll see if it starts hurting again, and if it does, I guess we're going to have to change the technique. Two, which is kind of along with that one, was play with the pressure of the left hand. I'm just going to have to play. Sometimes, you know, when you're changing stuff, you just need to experiment and play a little bit and see what happens. So we'll see what happens. Again, if my shoulder hurts, I can't pull ball. So if it hurts at all, we're going back to something that doesn't hurt, and we'll adjust from there. Three, I want to swing super aggressive off my top arm. I want to do better at that, even though my swing's pretty quick. I think I can improve it. Four! I'm going to turn earlier this year. I've been working on it all of last year, and it's getting better, and I spent two and a half months doing it in the pool this summer. So Steve and Caroline, um, they also say my turn sucks. But again, if you fix the stuff in the earlier phases of the pole vault, it usually fixes stuff at the ending phases of the pole vault. So hopefully by hitting my takeoff a little better, and driving in a little bit more aggressive, it will help start a turn by putting me in better position. And last but not least, I want to improve my grip tremendously this year. So I am going to push grip. 
we'll see what happens. I'm not entirely sure how that's going to play out, but grip improvement is going to be huge and I am going to work on it. So that's kind of the plan. We'll see what Steve and Caroline think about that and if they have any suggestions or better ideas. And then believe it or not, the next two days I was sick. So during my rest week, I got a little bit sick when I thought I had it taken care of. So I wasn't feeling 100% on Monday, but I hit it hard anyways. So like I said, I didn't overcome the sickness and me hammering on it pretty hard <laughs> made it worse. So good news is I've been down this road before and in the past I would just keep training until my body just wouldn't allow me to get out of bed. So I took yesterday completely off. I didn't feel like I could keep food down. <laughs> I used, I would have trained through it, but I didn't. I took days off to recover and I'm feeling better. Because usually when I train through it, I'm like, oh, I'm sick, I'm just going to train anyways. So I can't miss a day of training, I just can't. Part of training is knowing when to ease up off of training, not to push more. Because it's really easy to push and not easy to pull back. That's what I have found with me. Yeah, by pushing all the time, I would find that I could get two workouts in and I'd maybe be sick for two weeks. But now I took two days off, I felt better, and I'm able to train for two weeks. It took me a long time to learn that, and I'm embarrassed it took that long to learn that, and I'm happier and healthier now because of it. Like always! Please subscribe. Subscribing helps me more than anything else. Yeah, it helps YouTube like me more. So for the love of God, please subscribe to me. Follow me on Instagram or Twitter. You can follow me there at Sean Danger Hoot. Because Danger is my middle name. <laughs> for free advertising, if you guys would like to advertise, send me a shirt, your club, your company, whatever you got, and I will wear it in the vlogs. Noticed I was wearing a KMR workout shirt while I was pole vaulting. And lastly, if you would like some training for me, a pole vaulter who is doing pole vault training with a master's degree in health, nutrition, and exercise science with a master's in biomechanics, I will write you some training. All the information and links to all the stuff I just said are in the description. Please check it out below. Um, marking the 365 day anniversary of these vlogs. 365 days is a year. Um, I asked you guys, what's your favorite part of these vlogs? And these are what you guys chose. For the last remaining part of this vlog, here's a little montage of your favorite parts from the last year. Hey, I'm Sarah Jessica Parker. <laughs> oh, I wish nothing but the best for you. We like to look at strangers with this mask on. It's not that easy being green. Yes, you want to look at her, you know you do. All themes. It's just gonna, it's gonna be following me forever now. I named him Eddie. Eddie the Owl. Hoot! 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 How come no one told me I sounded like a goat? Try to play me, but
but you never paid me, never. I see a little silhouette of a man. Oh no, you didn't. Son of a woman, my name, very, very frightening. I'm sexy and I know it. So from the bottom of my heart Thank you, 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 thank you for watching. Here's to another 365 years. No. That's a lot of years. 365 days of vlogging. See you guys next time. So I'm doing this kind of for me and for all the campers who've ever come to any of the camps I have about what I do when I train and I just thought I'd start taking my GoPro. I started filming some stuff to try and show you guys what I do.